What's going on, Chess Fanatics? Rapid Chess, round 43. Uh, got a couple wins as of late, maybe some draws tossed in with some, some losses. I think the, the ratings uh, at least trending upwards, currently at 1635. Uh, let's jump into it and see what we can get. Maybe we can uh, play a stronger opponent today and potentially increase the rating. Uh, we are going to search the pool and see who we come up with. All right, uh, opponent 1642 out of Croatia, opening up with e4. See, maybe the advanced variation if they play e5. Yeah, so we're just going to go ahead, push that. You know what, we'll take uh, let's see, bring bishop out here. Oh, okay, will allow us to pin. So, what we can do is look to play, I think we'll go knight to e7 here. So if the bishop comes out, we'll likely just play queen to b6 here. Okay, maybe they're just planning an expansion, so why don't we just play a4? Okay, we're gonna take. Now we might consider actually playing queen b6 right now anyway. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll actually just focus on development here. Get a couple attackers. Um, Interesting. Do we want the bishop? Do we want that bishop? Or do we just want to pile on? You know what? Let's take it. It wasn't doing much there. Okay. Maybe that wasn't a great move. Okay, we're going to just castle. I'm not sure what the knight is doing here exactly. We are going to play queen b6 and see where it goes. It may just look to solidify that knight. Okay, we'll play a4 uh, and take away that opportunity from our opponent. As they likely would have liked to solidify. On b5, could have been a decent outpost for them. But I'm hoping that we will be able to challenge it now with queen b6. Okay going on here I guess we should take and what if we play I mean there's no checks I think we can potentially get away with this now we can look at moves like rook uh, rook a3 potentially or hmm. okay okay where do we go here? What if we play knight, uh, knight to a5? Okay, let's actually reevaluate what we're doing here. We'll just bring the queen back. I think what we might try is knight a5 and then develop it into, yeah, okay. Bring it into c4 here. That will apply some pressure. Hope everyone's doing well today. Okay, so queen goes back. We'll continue with their plan. Uh, okay. Let's actually just develop the queen to d7, actually. So we do want to continue with their plan. However, I don't want the queen... Okay, let's see if we can continue with the knight. It's taking more work than I'd like to get into c4 here. Okay, does this change anything? Okay, we will take... I'm assuming bishop will take here. 
No. Mm. I was going to say, is there any merit in taking with taking with the pawn? But I really don't think that that's a great idea. Okay, let's um, let's give ourselves a little lift here and make sure that we still have some scope. Always have rook over. I think what we might do is consider c6. Mm, not great. c6, knight a7. Not ideal. Okay, what we did was just push b6. Um, my thoughts are it just doesn't allow the queen to, or sorry, the the knight to go over to a7. And so we can now look potentially, um, you know, if, if there was rook over, we could always just play rook uh, to b4. And we have it protected by the bishop. Okay. So I think what we might do here, I don't know if this is, you know, this might just trade down pieces that I don't necessarily want to trade, but okay, what if we, I don't know if this is a terrible move or not, because it does allow knight a4, or sorry, a7, but then uh, check, check, or sorry, check, capture, take with check, and then we are targeting the e3 pawn here if we can get that in. Okay. Opponent spots it. Okay, so we, we're we gonna just repeat positions. We always have bishop to d8 uh, to keep tabs on this. Uh, we can trade the b pawn hopefully for the a pawn here. Okay. Now, what we will do is take that. Definitely need to start playing quicker. Okay, so opponent offers a trade. Now if he takes, okay. So that is not what we wanted to see. Oh, wow. That was a good move. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to get mated back here if I vacate takes. Probably easiest just to... Oh. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna just push and see what happens. Okay. Now we'll push here. Okay, I'm gonna assume they take. If they do, it might give us some hope, even though it's likely a lost uh, Lost end game. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we should probably just resign here. <laughs> okay. There we go. We'll resign. I mean, it was uh, a good game until the end there, but clearly uh, just made a big mistake. Um, man. Sometimes you got to just hold strong and uh, make a bunch of boring moves and try and get a draw, I think, in some cases, but it's a hard lesson to learn. Um, yeah, so I think I was right. Super, super straightforward. And uh, yeah, all of a sudden, just a monstrous losing move. Let's take a look at the analysis here. Um, okay. So it says just trade it off. I mean, I did consider, 
uh, but I thought maybe this knight would somehow get some activity in the long run. Um, okay, so let's just follow a sample line here to see what it wound up suggesting. Okay, so takes, takes. Mm, of course, that's a really nice move, clearing away and attacking the pawn at the same time. So obviously they don't want to check and drop it. I'll come in. Wow. That would have been a very nice continuation. Uh, would have given us a slight advantage. But you know what? It wasn't to be. That's how she goes sometimes. Uh, on the 43rd day, we suffer a loss. Uh, rating of 1627. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.